Hi, today I'm reviewing the Kose Ceramiad Skin Cream. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste time to sponsor ads or video. So if that's something you're into, like, subscribe. Uh, check out my newsletter. Check out the link below and be sure to subscribe to that. Doing giveaways every week, so uh, check it out. Okay, I am so happy. A few of you mentioned this product to me. And uh, after checking it out, I was like, oh, I got to get this. This looks right up my alley. And... Uh, I'm very happy for that and thankful for that because it's really been an amazing product to add in my routine, especially um, I get around my corners of my mouth from time to time, they get very dry and red. It's I think it's technically called angular chilitis, something like that. And anyway, so this has come in handy since I picked it up and it's got a lot of other good uses for it. So uh, and it's super affordable as well. So uh, okay, so they say rich medicated cream formulated with ceramide, amino acid, and Vaseline provides hydration and builds a protective barrier on skin to retain moisture free of additives, parabens, fragrance, color, and alcohol. And is Vaseline, is that not a trademarked or patented term? Or maybe it's just used like Kleenex. Kleenex is a brand, but anyway, I, I thought Vaseline was brand because otherwise isn't it isn't just petroleum jelly or maybe they use Vaseline brand. I don't know. Patent people, attorneys, let me know if there's any of you watching. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So on to my first criteria, which is packaging squeeze tube. This product is thick and I will mention it does not come with a seal on the tube. So when you open it, it's going to be open, which I just threw me off initially, but uh, just FYI, you know, somebody will be curious about that. So it does not come with a little seal on the tube, but normally it'd come with one here, but it does not. Okay. And I get why they use this type of packaging because it is thick. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It also has no fragrance and no scent uh, to it at all, which is nice. And the manufacturing location for this one is Japan. Uh, the brand is Japanese, so no issues with that. Okay, ease of use. So this one's got a lot of uses for it, and I'm very impressed with it. So, um, so it is thick. Did I mention that? So I'm squeezing with all my might and a little bit comes out at a time and it doesn't take much to cover an area. Just a little bit goes a very long way and you can smooth it over wherever you have dry skin. Uh, you can use it around your face like as slugging as the last step of your routine. I've kind of been doing it like that occasionally. I've been using it on my lips a little bit and then on the corners of my mouth a lot and then just on dry patches, like sometimes I get dry patches like around my elbows. I put a little bit of that in and it does the trick. So, and it's wonderful and I don't feel guilty. There's some products that have similar purposes that I feel guilty using because they're so expensive and this one I don't have that issue. So you can use it wherever, dry patches, dry areas, body, face, uh, anywhere like that, no issues. I even sometimes, a couple days ago, use a little bit to tame my eyebrows because they're getting a little out of control. I'm not sure why, and I don't want to pluck them anymore because they hardly exist. So I feel bad plucking them, but then they get out of control. So I actually just use a little bit of that for this. And it, anything you want to use like Vaseline for, you can pretty much use this for. And it's amazing. And I really like that, and it's nice. Uh, if you do microneedling or if you see an esthetician, do a laser, use it or a peel, things like that. Using it afterwards will be nice. I have a couple lasers I use at home, a Tria one and a Luminage. I use on wrinkles and fine lines. And... My skin is kind of dry and almost like sunburn feeling after it. And I use a little bit of this and it brings it back to life within a few minutes. And uh, anyway, so sets to a radiant finish that's slightly tacky and slightly greasy. And that's probably from some of the ingredients. So let me talk about the ingredients. So uh, typically a lot of these I would skip over because they're just like slip ingredients. But I think this is creates the substance of this product. So I'm not going to skip over them like I normally would. So liquid paraffin. It's emollient and it's an occlu occlusive ingredient. We've got petroleum, also known as Vaseline. It's an occlusive uh, ingredient that prevents transepidermal water loss. In fact, uh, I believe out of every substance studied, petroleum jelly or Vaseline is the number one most occlusive ingredient that exists for skin care. So if you need it, if your skin gets dry over the nighttime, it's worth considering. And you don't even have to necessarily apply over your entire face. You just apply to dry areas. So, okay, then we've got squalane, antioxidant, skin identical ingredient. We've got concentrated glycer glycerin, which is a skin identical ingredient, emollient. We've got an ingredient called L-serine, which is a skin identical ingredient, amino acid with emollient properties. We've got 
N-sterol phytosphygnosine, which is a phytoceramide that contains fatty acids that helps the natural skin barrier and prevents water loss. We've got pure vitamin E, which is a fat-soluble antioxidant that protects our skin. And then finally, we've got CoQ10, which is an antioxidant that also may help uh, prevent and treat fine lines and wrinkles. So a lot of emollients, occlusive ingredients, which is why uh, I found it so helpful with dryness and dryness around my mouth. Uh, so if you have very acne prone skin, again, I'll talk about some of those acne genetic ingredients, but uh, you can certainly pick and choose what areas you use it and you don't have to use it over your entire face. So I guess I get to my next right here and this is the, the biggest bummer about this whole thing is it's not cruelty free. I believe they're sold in mainland China. So as of right now, uh, this brand is not cruelty free, which I think is, is a bummer because everything else about it is absolutely wonderful. Uh, okay, in terms of performance, so for what this product promises, it promises to hydrate skin while leaving a protective barrier over skin, seals in moisture, penetrates deep into skin to provide sufficient moisture. I believe it does all of those. Uh, and it also, I think it has some, potentially some anti-aging benefits for skin with the amino acid, CoQ10 and vitamin E and squalane. Uh, you probably have to use it quite a lot for the actual anti-aging benefits, but they are there and uh, rather have them there than not. Um, okay, so its product is going to be pretty friendly for most skin types with the exception of acne prone skin. And for acne prone skin, if you want to use this on spot areas, I think that's going to be better than especially like blackhead or breakout prone areas like the nose or chin. But so for acne prone skin, we've got paraffin, we've got the squalane. We've got the self emulsifying glycerol monosterate, Cetera alcohol, and pure vitamin E are all pro or ingredients that are not super friendly for acne prone skin. So, FYI, be aware of them. Okay, in terms of the price, so this is the full size 40 milliliters, 1.4 ounces. It retails for just under 10 bucks. So, it's a steal, especially the fact that a little bit goes such a long way. It's a good deal. Very affordable. And then last but not least, uh, the It Factor. It's very nice. It's a hyped up version of petroleum jelly or like a more hyped up version of Aquaphor, I would think. Um, <clears throat> and the inclusion of vitamin E and CoQ10, I like that in addition to all the occlusive and emollients they have. There's no real close dupes to it, but there's some alternatives. So the closest alternatives are the CeraVe Healing Ointment, the Gold Bond Age Renewal Ultimate Crep Corrector Body Cream, and the Mustela Stellatopia Ointment Cream are the closest uh, alternatives I could find to this one. But overall, uh, it's a winner. It's just a bummer. It's not cruelty-free. If it was cruelty-free, it would be even better. But maybe one of these days. We'll see. Who knows? Uh, anyway, so... With a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 9. It's got everything else going for it. So anyway, interesting hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check it out yet or not. If you have what your thoughts are, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.